Bruce is the the founder of G Adventures, but when you go beyond the title, he's 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 not your typical entrepreneur. It started out as a travel company built on the back of two credit cards, and it's turned into the largest independent adventure travel company in the world. You could see the drive in Bruce for as long as I've known him. He has talked about a lot of the principles that that the Dalai Lama himself talks about. In his mind, karma is a real thing. It, it was the first business model he ever had, and it worked. Um, I think he felt he needed to make a difference in the world. Um, I think he saw that travel was the perfect vehicle for doing that. The trips that Bruce initially started, and he obviously started with someone by the name of Delphine in Ecuador in, in the Amazon jungle. He was looking to fill a space about a passion for travel. Somehow he's managed to bottle that passion that he has for travel himself and uh, feed it to others. Hearing about the Explorer going down. It was like a death in the family. There were literally people crying on the sales floor. It scared the hell out of me when it first happened. You're dealing with the moment. You've got 150 passengers in peril there. Bruce said very little the whole time. He told us, do what you're good at, we're gonna fix this. The best way to recover from it was to show people that we were strong, resilient, and gonna be back. It was a bad situation that had a happy ending. You know, any company's personality is always going to be a reflection of the personality that was put there by the entrepreneur responsible for it. Passion and purpose are the things that drive Bruce most. I mean, have a look at our core values. They are everywhere. And you know what? They're actually real. I just find that the culture has almost kind of transcended the company in a way. And I think it's, it's what kind of binds the, the, the company together. You always want to do your best here. Your work has real, genuine value. I think Bruce realized very quickly that in order to be able to have a consistent brand, that everybody had to be working from the same script. Meeting the Dalai Lama, that's when it all came full circle. It validated everything for Bruce. He knew he was doing the right thing. It just kind of energized him not to do something different, but to keep on the path he is on and that he's putting the company on.